what's going on guys today I am doing a homeless shelter cleanup over there it's actually all over this 11 acre lot primarily the biggest pile is right there and uh, I came by and told the guys yesterday they got to leave by 12 uh, but I told them I'm also gonna start cleaning even beforehand and the cops already came out and gave them uh, citations and warnings to leave so um, you may hear some commotion in the background. There's a guy that might just be on drugs. Um, but anyway, the rest of the guys that told me they're gonna leave, they actually um, weren't lying. They, they, they did actually end up going to the side of the road with most of their stuff. But back there, is still, there's still so much stuff. So um, I'm gonna show you that right now. So there's trash all along here. Not a big deal. People over there are already by the side of the road that were here earlier. The brunt of it, like I said earlier, it's right here. Stuff right here. something. All the stuff here. There's a canal over there. And this guy's leaving. So quite a bit of work. Here we go. Here is the dent I made. And here's what I left here. All right, about an hour and a half of being here and I made about a 20% dent, 25% dent in this biggest camp as you can see right here most of that trash is pretty much gone and I still got this stuff right here left but my trailer is full so I'm gonna go ahead and get this trailer dumped and come back and continue all right good morning everybody this is day two of cleaning up the homeless camp debris and trash I got a little bit of stuff here but I'm gonna stand it up so we can make more space in the trailer. So, when I was here last time, on the first day, I got a decent chunk out. Um, still got this stuff right here and stuff way over there. That's the brunt of it, that's the most of it. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the trailer right now for the, in the next, like I say, hour and a half. Um, we're gonna go dump, and I think I'll be able to do one more load right after that. Um, so, got a quite a, uh, got quite a bit of a Shoveling and moving things around a lot of small stuff laying around um, But that's okay um, Luckily everybody ended up leaving like they said they would and um, that should make things Quite a bit easier. It's a beautiful day outside actually. I don't know if you can tell Mostly sunny some clouds and um, luckily these trees provide nice shade to work in so I'm gonna go ahead and get the ball rolling right now All right, so first let's go ahead and go back here and have a look what I've done. So you can still see some trash kind of scattered around, but from the last video, you can see the majority of it has been picked up. I actually ended up picking up pretty much half the trash and half these pine leaves or all this, these twigs and branches along the way. And uh, I ended up clearing up a bit of tra trash here, a little bit of here. And I still got, of course, that left, so I'm going to go ahead and unload this at the dump and come back and do the rest. It's 
sandy, so you gotta be really quick to not uh, get stuck. All right, a day three of cleaning up this homeless camp, and I'm getting the bulk of the stuff. There's still small pieces of trash all throughout, but here's what I left right there. That's about a full load, maybe a little more. I gotta go unload this right now, and then um, go do a small job, uh, job in Cape Coral, and then I'll come back and finish this up here. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it rained last night, and a lot of stuff here is now wet and heavier, so you know more expensive dump fees. Um, but is what it is. So, luckily, the bulk of the stuff here is like actually bulky, so um, it will clean up pretty quick in the trailer. Um, it'll start, excuse me, it will stack add up in the trailer pretty quick, and this whole place will look so much cleaner afterwards. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go about 100 feet away and pick up a giant pile of trash kind of like scattered around. Uh, I'm gonna use a rake to kind of compile it and just put into this 33 gallon um, um, <clears throat> can. After that, I'm gonna go back here and just kind of do some finishing touches as in just pick up as much trash as I can without spending too long because it would take me forever to pick up every single piece of trash. So anyway, be right back. Okay, so I got all, a lot of the bulk here gone. There's still small little pieces here and there. Um, and then this is pretty much the most of it that's left. Uh, over there, it's already done. So I just have this here left. I'm looking at completion. Um, if not by this evening, then by sometime tomorrow morning to noon time. So an hour and a half later, the trailer is full. I'm definitely making some damage here. That's all I got left right there in this entire area. And uh, I'm gonna go unload this and come right back and wrap this up and move on to the next spot couple about 100 feet away that's 5 p.m. now I just came back took care of a few things earlier at home unloaded the last load and here's what I have left <clears throat> in this major camp quite an improvement so I'm gonna load this up and then jump over to the next uh, area where there's just trash scattered around all right, so as you can see here, all this trash all around here is just scattered all around. So, of course, there's a few bulky items like the shopping carts. But for the most part, I'm going to get this little blue wagon and come by and collect most of these things. And uh, make my way to that last pile over there behind the trees. Pretty much all of this area here has been cleared up. And then I got this little pile here left. And then I'm pretty much moving towards the end of this area. And that should be it. So that's it for day three. Tomorrow I'm gonna come here, wrap everything up, and that'll be it. So see you tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm back here for day four. <clears throat> And I'm wrapping up this homeless shelter cleanup. So I got a little pile of trash right there to pick up. And right past these trees, about 25 feet, I got a nice pile of trash on the ground to pick up. That'll take me probably a good hour and a half to do. But after that, that's it. And look at that. She's uh, nice and full, at least on this part. Back there, I still got some space. And, of course, the second thing is to figure out whether... This truck can make it over this little hump, down a little ditch, then go up again. Let's see, let's have a better look. I think it'll be just fine. It might rub the, the um, that little, you know, trailer stand. I forgot what you call it, uh, tripod. <laughs> whatever you call it the thing that holds up the front of the trailer anyway that might 
scrub the ground, but then again, this is sand. So it should be no problem. And there's that pile. I dumped a full load earlier, so this is what's left after that. Just a little pile of trash behind these carts and six shopping carts in total, so. And that pretty much wraps up this homeless camp clean out here in Lehigh Acres. Took me about four days to do because I had other jobs I was doing in the process, but luckily there wasn't any intense rush and the broker who hired me to clean this up, the real estate broker, she was very flexible and very good to work with. So thank you very much for that, ma'am. And thanks for watching this video. If you guys like this clean out process and you wanna see more like this, or if you need junk removal in Lee and Collier County, give me a call or text me. My phone number is 239-330-5544. I can give you a free estimate via text message with pictures or I can come out and look at it in person. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.